Question 1. At night, if an oncoming vehicle fails to dim its high beams, look. A. Toward the center of the roadway. B. Toward the right edge of your lane. C. Straight ahead in your lane. Correct answer. B. Toward the right edge of your lane. When an oncoming vehicle fails to dim its high beams at night, it can cause temporary blindness and make it difficult to see the road ahead. Looking toward the center of the roadway or straight ahead of your lane can further impair your vision and increase the risk of a collision. Question 2. Which of these is a good way to spot driving hazards? A. Focus on your outside mirrors. B. Focus on the vehicle ahead. C. Scan ahead of your vehicle. Correct answer. C. Scan ahead of your vehicle. To give yourself time to react, avoid last-minute moves and hazards. Always keep your eyes moving and scan the road at least 10 seconds ahead of your vehicle. Question 3. When you leave your lane to pass another vehicle, you know you have enough room to return to your driving lane when you A. Can see the front of the vehicle in your rear view mirror. B. Are two seconds in front of the other vehicle. C. Have passed the other vehicle's front bumper. Correct answer. A. Can see the front of the vehicle in your rear view mirror. Before returning to your original lane after passing, you must make sure you are not dangerously close to the vehicle you have just passed. When you can see both of the vehicle's headlights in your rearview mirror, you may have enough room to return to the lane. Question 4. You are at a red traffic signal. The traffic light turns green, but there are still other vehicles in the intersection. You should. A. Wait until the vehicles clear the intersection before entering. B. Move ahead only if you can go around the other vehicles safely. C. Enter the intersection and wait for traffic to clear. Correct answer. A. Wait until the vehicles clear the intersection before entering. You are at a red traffic signal. The traffic light turns green, but there are still other vehicles in the intersection. You should wait until the vehicles clear the intersection before entering. Question 5. It is against the law to enter an intersection when A. The light is yellow. B. The light is flashing yellow and you didn't stop first. C. You can't get all the way across before the light turns red. Correct answer. C. You can't get all the way across before the light turns red. Do not enter an intersection if you cannot get completely across before the traffic signal light turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be cited. Question 6. A green arrow means go, but first you must. A. Yield to any vehicle, bicycle, or pedestrian in the intersection. B. Check the vehicle behind you in your rearview mirror. C. Wait 5 seconds before proceeding. Correct answer. A. Yield to any vehicle, bicycle, or pedestrian in the intersection. A green traffic signal light means go. You should still stop for any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian in the intersection. Only proceed if you have enough space without creating a danger to any oncoming vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian. Question 7. If you are being tailgate, you should A. Step on your brakes. B. Increase your following distance. C. Signal the tailgater when it is safe to pass you. Correct answer. B. Increase your following distance. If you are being tailgate, it is best to allow more room to open up in front of your vehicle. This will help you avoid the need for sudden stops, which could result in the tailgater rear-ending you, and will make it easier for the tailgater to pass. Speeding up may only make things more dangerous by prompting the other driver to continue tailgating you at a higher speed. Question 8. You are going to make a left turn from a dedicated left turn lane when a yellow arrow appears for your lane. You should A. Speed up to get through the intersection. B. Stop and not turn under any circumstances. C. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. Correct answer. C. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. Question 9. Flashing red lights on a stopped school bus mean a. Stop if you are following the bus, but not if you are across the street from it. B. Stop as long as the red lights flash. C. Stop first, then proceed when safe. Correct answer. B. Stop as long as the red lights flash. 
When a stop school bus is flashing its red lights, all traffic approaching the bus from any direction must stop at least 20 feet away from the bus. You may not resume driving until the red lights stop flashing or when the bus driver or a traffic officer signals that you can proceed. Question 10. The three-second rule applies to the space of your vehicle. A. In back. B. Ahead. C. To the sides. Correct answer. B. Ahead. The three-second rule is a simple but effective way to maintain a safe following distance. It's all about giving yourself the time you need to respond to any unexpected moves by the vehicle in front of you. Question 11. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, that is, or higher. A. 0.10%, one-tenth of one percent. B. 0.08%, eight-hundredths of one percent. C. 0.05%, five hundredths of one percent. Correct answer, B, 0.08%, eight hundredths of one percent. For drivers aged 21 or older, it is illegal to operate a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.08% or higher. Driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but dangerous. Question 12. Under California law, can you legally park in front of a driveway, partially or fully blocking it? A. No, never. B. Only for 15 minutes or less. C. Yes, if it is your own driveway. Correct answer. A. No, never. Parking in front of your own driveway is illegal under California law, even though it is your own property. The reason for this is to ensure that emergency vehicles have unobstructed access to the driveway. However, a local jurisdiction may issue a permit allowing you to park in front of your own driveway in certain situations. Question 13. If you see orange construction signs or cones on a freeway, you must A. Slow down because the lane ends ahead. B. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. C. Change lanes and maintain your current speed. Correct answer. B. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. As you enter a work zone, signs and message boards will warn you of workers, slow-moving equipment, and or closed lanes ahead. You should reduce your speed and be prepared to slow down or stop. Question 14. This road sign means A. Intersection ahead. B. Steep grade ahead. C. Winding road. Correct answer. B. Steep grade ahead. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that there is a steep hill ahead. Slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear to control your speed and protect your brakes from damage. Question 15. Generally speaking, you are in a large truck's blind spot if you A. Drive close to the large truck's left front wheel. B. Can't see the truck driver in the truck's side mirrors. C. Follow no closer than 10 feet behind the large truck. Correct answer. B. Can't see the truck driver in the truck's side mirrors. If you cannot see the truck driver's reflection in his or her side mirror, you are in the truck driver's blind spot and they cannot see you. Question 16. If you must park your vehicle in an area not usually used for parking. A. Park with your reverse lights on. B. Park 5 feet from the curb. C. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Correct answer. C. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Drivers are responsible for making sure their vehicles do not become hazards after they have been parked. Wherever you park, make sure your car is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Question 17. This sign means A. No left turn can be made here. B. A left turn can be made only after stopping. C. All traffic must turn right at the next intersection. Correct answer. A. No left turn can be made here. Signs with a red circle and diagonal line over a black symbol indicate that the action represented by the symbol is prohibited. In this case, the sign indicates that left turns are prohibited. Question 18. U-turns in residential districts are legal. A. On a one-way street at a green arrow. B. When there are no vehicles approaching nearby. 
See across two sets of solid double, yellow lines. Correct answer, B. When there are no vehicles approaching nearby. U-turns are permitted in residential areas if there are no vehicles approaching within 200 feet. They are also permitted when a traffic sign, light, or signal protects you from approaching vehicles. Question, 19. A law enforcement officer notices that one of your passengers is not wearing a seatbelt and writes a citation. Which of the following is true? A. Both you and your passenger will receive a citation. B. Your passenger will receive the citation, regardless of his or her age. C. You may receive the citation if the passenger is younger than 16. Correct answer. C. You may receive the citation if the passenger is younger than 16. This suggests that the responsibility for ensuring that passengers under the age of 16 wear seatbelts falls on the driver, and they may be held accountable for any violations. Question 20. Give the right of way to any pedestrian who is a. In a marked crosswalk. b. In any crosswalk or intersection. c. Crossing any street. Correct answer, c. Crossing any street. Drivers must yield the right of way to pedestrians who are crossing the street in any marked or unmarked crosswalk. In the interest of safety, drivers should yield the right of way to people crossing any street. Question 21. Water on the road can cause a vehicle to hydroplane. Your car may hydroplane at speeds as low as a 45 miles per hour, b 35 miles per hour, c 40 miles per hour. Correct answer, b 35 miles per hour. Hydroplaning occurs when there is standing water on a roadway. At speeds up to 35 miles per hour, most tires will channel water away from the tire. As your speed increases past 35 miles per hour, tires cannot channel the water as well and your tires may start to lose contact with the road and ride over the water like a set of water skis. Question 22. When you enter traffic from a stop, example, pulling away from the curb, you a. should drive slower than other traffic for 200 feet. b. need a large enough gap to get up to the speed of traffic. C. Should wait for the first vehicle to pass, then pull into the lane. Correct answer. B. Need a large enough gap to get up to the speed of traffic. When entering traffic from a full stop, it is important to wait for a large enough gap in the traffic flow to safely merge. This allows the driver to match the speed of the traffic and smoothly integrate into the flow without causing any disruptions or hazards. Question 23. What is the speed limit at a blind intersection? A. 15 miles per hour. B. 25 miles per hour. C. 10 miles per hour. Correct answer. A. 15 miles per hour. An intersection is considered blind if it has no stop signs at any corner. If your view is blocked, move slowly forward until you can see. The speed limit for a blind intersection is 15 miles per hour. Question 24. If you have an accident, the law requires you to exchange your driver license information with a. Witnesses b. Others involved in the accident c. Security guards Correct answer, b. Others involved in the accident In the event of a collision, the law mandates that you exchange your driver's license information with the other individuals involved in the accident. This is important for insurance purposes and to ensure that all parties have the necessary information to report and document the incident accurately. Witnesses and security guards may provide valuable information, but the law specifically requires the exchange of information with the other individuals directly involved in the collision. Question 25. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn. B. Intersection. C. Lane change. Correct answer, B. Intersection. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns that your current road ends at an intersection straight ahead. Slow down and prepare to yield or stop before turning right or left. Thanks for watching. If you like our content, please like this video and share it with your friends Crickle and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.